Good day subscribers, it's me, the Finance Guy, back with another video today guys, and today we're going to be talking about gold and silver. Gold, sweet, beautiful gold! And that's an interesting topic to be certain, because a lot of you out there think that gold and silver are inherently worth nothing. They're worth, you know, they're an old dying base currency. But I can tell you this, that gold will be here long after we're gone, and silver will probably be around here uh, way after we're gone as well. And they're a rare based metal that a lot of people just don't really view as something that's very important. Some people view these currencies as inherently worthless. But I think that they have more worth than our dollar. And the reason why I think they have more worth than our dollar is because these are finite. Unless we can, you know, travel the stars or mine meteors and asteroids, that this currency will remain here. Uh, and worth a decent amount in value, I think, long after I'm gone and long after, um, you know, maybe our f fiat based currency ends. A lot of people don't also realize that that the dollar is only worth what we give it. So that's a really interesting topic to be certain, because most people um, around the world view the dollar as one of the strongest based currencies in the world but it's only printed out pieces of paper. And some will say, well, this is only you know, gold and silver, but I'm really torn on the subject of when it comes to doing any kind of investing, when it comes to doing um, holding cash or holding gold and silver. I believe that you need a little bit of a hybrid. Um, maybe I'm just a little bit crazy when it comes to that. Maybe it's the um, old school mentality that I was raised in, but I think that gold and silver are something that you should definitely hold over long periods of time because as debt rises, maybe we might end up in a debt bubble and our value of our dollar will return to um, you know, the gold and silver standard. And now that might not happen. And, and if that, that, that doesn't happen, then I'm totally fine with it. We might end up having a situation where um, digital based currencies will take over. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens, but Bitcoin and um, other kinds of blockchain like currencies I think might actually take over in the future we'll see how that pans out but that doesn't mean that I won't be buying gold and silver during those times as well I buy a little bit of gold and silver as a hedge against hyperinflation and a hedge against um, us mass producing tons of money which we've been doing for many many years and it's just this kind of magical thing. It's just what we give it. And as time goes by and as inflation rises, the value of the dollar decreases. That's why you have old people saying that back in my day, you know, this used to be 10 cents. Well, the reason why that is, is because it was backed by something usually by those people during those times. Gold and silver was the backing of the dollar. And since we've moved off of that, our dollar is inherently becoming less and less worth anything um, because of inflation and because of the Federal Reserve. And some people believe that our gold is or that our dollar is still backed by gold and silver. And it's not. It, <laughs> it's not. We've grown outgrown that to an extraordinary levels. And that is why I hold a little bit of precious metal. It's just something that I believe that some people should pick up some gold and silver just in case of some kind of form of hyperinflation, like what has happened in Argentina. I have voiced this opinion on one of my live streams a little while ago, and I just wanted to let you guys know that maybe you should look into maybe holding precious metals, and maybe not. Some people say that if things get that bad, that medicine, bullets, and food will have a much higher valuation, and that's very likely as well. If you talk to anyone who was raised from um, after the Great Depression, they will have very interesting uh, habits when it comes to, you know, what they viewed as wealth. They would hoard, um, you know, precious metals like um, any kind of silver platters, anything that they could, you know, use and sell during, you know, an economic struggle. Anyone who was raised after the Great Depression has a very interesting or went through the Great Depression, well, has a very unique situation on what they view um, about the economy and about what they viewed um, how to survive. It was a very rough time for a lot of people. And I'm not saying that that could happen again, but I'm saying that history has a tendency to repeat itself. And if we ended up in a situation where we needed to exchange some form of 
uh, goods and our dollar was inherently worth some uh, worth nothing then maybe uh, a silver and gold might have a little bit higher valuation who knows I do not know of the future but I think as a form of security I like to buy a little bit of gold and silver just in case we end up in that kind of situation so I wanted to talk to you guys about that today thank you so much for watching uh, social media links are down in the description please like and subscribe if you found this video informative Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you guys again next time. And I got a question for you guys today. Do you like gold or do you like silver? Maybe, maybe not. Give me a comment down below on what you think about that.